Okay, assalamu alaikum grade tens. Today we're doing measuring volume. So I'm using these notes to work through the video to talk you through it and then I'll upload the notes as well, right? So if we look at this, the definition of volume, the three-dimensional space occupied by a gas, a liquid or a substance or a solid substance, right? In grade 10, we will only be dealing with liquid volumes, which are milliliters, liters and kiloliters, right? The word capacity also refers to volume. Example, what is the volume or capacity of a container, right? basic units of volume so how do we measure volume the basic unit of measurement for the measuring of volume of a liquid is liter and all other units of measurements for liquids such as kiloliters and milliliters are either multiples or fractions of the liter so very large volumes of liquid such as the amount of water in a dam are measured in kiloliters so if you example if you have a pool and you want to work out how much of liters you have in there because it's such a big amount of water, you would use kiloliters. So you need to know that if you have a, a huge amount of liquid, you would be using kiloliters. Milk and large bottles of soft drinks are often sold in one liter containers or two liter containers, the way we buy that, right? Smaller amounts of liquid, such as tin, tins of cold drink or medicine dosage, are measured in milliliters. So these are mils, so if you want to give a child a teaspoon of panado, then you know you'd be using um, five mils, which is one teaspoon. This is also a unit of measurement that is often used in baking. Okay, so if we move on to here, instruments used to measure volume, measuring spoons, cups, if individually labeled according to their volume. So this will say half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, one and one tablespoon, that kind of thing. This one is cups, it's measuring cups, so you get half a cup three quarter cup, one cup, right? And then a measuring jug, which has the moles on it and the liters on it. And then please watch the video because it gives you a good idea of how to use it when you're making recipes, especially. And volume and measuring has a lot to do with recipes. So it's a nice practical way of learning volume, right? And then we have measuring buckets and wheelbarrows. Buckets have the markings on the outside, which are 25 liters, right? So you can measure one bucket, then you know if you fill the bucket up, you'll be using 25 liters. And a wheelbarrow has a capacity, a standard capacity of 40 liters. It means if you fill that wheelbarrow up with sand, for example, you can fill 40 liters of sand. So then you know if you're filling it to the brim, it'll be 40 liters, right? 